सो नेम ऑफ द रीडिंग इज मार्केट बेस्ड वैल्यूएशन प्राइज एंड एंटरप्राइज वैल्यू मल्टीपल्स सो द क्रक्स ऑफ दिस रीडिंग इज विद द फैक्ट ऑफ हाउ डू यू मेक यूसेज ऑफ मल्टीपल्स फॉर वैल्यूएशन पर्पज एंड देव सेट मल्टीपल्स कुड बी ऑफ टू कैटेगरीज इधर वी माइट यूज द मेथड ऑफ कंपेरेबल्स और वी माइट यूज द मेथड ऑफ फोरकास्टेड फंडामेंटल्स सो द इजिएस्ट वे टू थिंक और क्लासीफाई दूज टू सेट्स ऑफ कंपेरेबल्स वेन एवर यू आर मेकिंग यूज ऑफ एक्चुअल मार्केट प्राइस एज अ रेशो टू अर्निंग्स और एज अ रेशो टू सेल्स और एज अ रेशो टू कैश लो वी आर मेकिंग यूज ऑफ मेथड ऑफ कंपेरेबल्स बट वेन एवर यू आर यूजिंग making use of the intrinsic value derived through any of the valuation metric so your intrinsic value could so whenever we are making use of uh, forecasted fundamentals as a ratio to earnings or sales then this is forecasted fundamentals now this v0 could be derived using the gordon growth model or v0 could be derived using sorry dividend discount or free cash flow or any of the other justified fundamental models so this is how the reading gets divided then on this forecasted fundamental they have a series of ratios so they have a ratio on justified leading price earning ratio which we've already seen justified trailing price earning ratio justified price to book then they have justified price to sales and they have justified dividend yield and most of the reading revolves around if cost of equity increases what would be the impact on justified dividend yield if cost of equity decreases what would be the impact on justified price to book so the easiest way to tackle with this reading is to carefully look at each of the formula see how the formula gets derived and then understand what is the impact of each of those variables into the price earning multiple are we okay here so we are going to make a series of flow charts and formula derivations and that would be the summary of this reading so first uh, price earning ratio we have done this earlier but since it's repeated again i'm going to repeat the flow chart price earning ratio these are justified justified means based on forecasted fundamentals we can have two versions we could either have a trailing price earning ratio or we could have a leading price earning ratio so leading price earning ratio is the value of the stock at time 0 divided by earnings of time 1 now how could we derive the formula so we know that v0 is equal to d1 divided by k minus g and then this value we have to divide by e1 which will give us payout ratio so d1 divided by e1 is nothing but payout ratio divided by k minus g so this is your justified leading price earning multiple a justified trailing price earning multiple would be v0 divided by e0 so we could write that as d0 into 1 plus g divided by k minus g and then this value gets divided by e0 so that d0 divided by e0 that becomes a payout ratio so payout ratio into 1 plus g divided by k minus g so these are the two formulas for justified pe justified leading pe justified trailing pe the difference between these two values is 1 plus g and what you would what you might want to remember that trailing price earning ratio would be higher by a factor of 1 plus g are we okay with this then the next formula they have discussed in the reading is for justified price to book value justified price to book value ratio so how is that ratio calculated this is calculated as what is the valuation of the stock at time 0 divided by what is the book value of the stock at time 0 valuation at time 0 divided by book value at time 0 now this valuation we could expand and we can say earnings at time 1 
into what is the payout ratio are we together on this earnings at time 1 into the payout ratio what is this this is dividend at time 1 divided by cost of equity minus the growth rate and then this number needs to be divided by b0 is that fine e1 divided by b0 earning per share divided by book value per share what is this number rov earning per share divided by book value per share so e1 divided by b0 becomes a rov so this formula becomes rov into payout ratio divided by this whole value divided by ke minus g now i'm going to rewrite that payout ratio as so let me build that equation here which is rov into 1 minus retention rate do you agree yes. 1 minus retention rate is same as the payout ratio divided by ke minus g and if you multiply now the last and very important step rov into 1 <coughs> is rov rov into retention ratio is growth rate divided by k minus g this is the formula for justified price to book ratio yeah so we we don't really use the word trailing or leading typically in the context of uh, price to book ratios so they haven't really discussed the leading ratios for price to book or price to sales or price to cash flows at the beginning of the year are we going to go ahead now justified price to sales ratio so this is v0 divided by s0 which is equal to e1 into payout ratio in fact it should be e0 e0 into payout ratio into 1 plus g divided by k minus g divided by s0 now e0 divided by s0 what is that number earnings per share divided by sales per share that is net profit margin so net profit margin multiplied with payout ratio multiplied with payout ratio into 1 plus g divided by ke minus g and payout ratio into 1 plus g divided by ke minus g what is this term this is trailing price earning ratio so net profit margin into trailing price earning ratio e0 into 1 plus g is same as e1 earnings at time 0 into 1 plus g is same as e1 and why did i break it down into e0 because the denominator is of s0 so you cannot have sales of this year and profit of next year to calculate profit margin to calculate profit margin if you have sales of this year profit should be of the same year any questions here yes no and the last one there is also a justified dividend yield justified dividend yield so justified dividend yield is what is the dividend at time 1 divided by what is the value of stock at time 0 dividend at time 1 divided by value at time 0 so let's expand the v0 cal v0 first <coughs> so that v0 would be calculated as d1 divided by ke minus g this is the formula for v0 
सो वन डिवाइडेड बाय वी जीरो इज इक्वल टू के माइनस जी डिवाइडेड बाय डी वन इज इट करेक्ट एंड देन टू पुट डी वन डिवाइडेड बाय वी जीरो वी विल से के माइनस जी डिवाइडेड बाय डी वन इल टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय अब डूइंग दिस राइट Into multiplied by d1, and then what we are left with is k minus g. Any questions here? So if you know this, you roughly know the crux of the reading. Apart from this, towards the end they have discussion on e v by a beta multiple. So enterprise value, if you remember from level one. we calculate market value of equity plus market value of debt plus market value of preferred stock minus cash and non operating investments and this kind of gives us an approximation of what is the market value of the operating assets of the organization this as a ratio to ebitda tells us market is valuing operating assets how many times of its operating cash profit margins and then based on this we can again do valuations so these are roughly the valuation metric but there is lot of theory about what are the advantages of each one of them disadvantages when to use which one so we'll look at them more specifically now what he is saying is uh, justified dividend yield we have done uh, D one by V zero. He is saying it should be D zero by V zero. So it could be both technically. So typically, when you calculate dividend yield, if you buy a stock now, you would expect how much would be the dividend for time one. But in the curriculum, they also have a formula for D zero by V zero, and there would just be a factor of one by G in the denominator, one plus G. If you put one plus g in the denominator, then d one automatically becomes d zero. Agreed. What was the formula we came up with? We came up with cost of equity minus g. So if you just put one plus g, automatically the numerator becomes d zero. 